Hi, Luke from Korg here. Welcome to your first five minutes on the drum log. Let's get started. So here's what you get in the box. You get your drum log unit, KA350 UK power supply, and your manuals, and also a download coupon with some cool software as well. So now we're ready to go. If you want to monitor directly, you can plug in a pair of headphones. We've actually got it connected via a pair of jacks, and these can go directly to a pair of monitors or through a mixing desk. You've also got an additional four outputs as well, so you can send different channels through different outputs if you need to. So we're all connected up, let's power on. So just hold down momentarily the power button, it'll power up. So once it's powered up, we're into live mode. If we want to listen back to a pattern, press play. If we want to change the tempo, just use the tempo control there. It tells you the tempo you're running up, always top right of the screen as well. So to change patterns, press select. And then you can see you've got four banks of presets, all with 16 in there. And beyond that, they're all initialized programs. So let's select a different pattern by pressing select. You can also select patterns via the buttons here as well. Within that bank you're working in, so bank A at the moment. You can also change kit as well, so if I go into kit there, it'll play that same pattern but with a different kit. And again, you can use these buttons here to change kits. So in the drum log, you're going to be working in two main modes. You'll be working in live mode, which allows you to audition all of the different parts live or step mode, which allows you to see the different steps, whichever part you've selected. So for instance, this pattern here, if I press part and then bass drum, you can see that you've got four to the floor. If I add more, you can put more in as well. You can also mute and solo parts, which is really easy. So have the pattern playing, hold down mute there, and then you can just take parts in and out. You can also solo by holding down shift and mute. Like that. As well as that, you've got these nice mixer controls at the top to adjust your levels. This section here tells us how long the pattern is. So in this case, you're actually working with four measures and the light underneath tells you which one you're actually seeing on that particular part that you've selected, which is the hi-hat in this case. You can also press time and that'll show you the length of the pattern as well. It's actually really easy to make your own pattern in Drumlog. All you have to do is clear it and then you can start from scratch. And there's two ways to do that. You can initialize by holding down shift and the last key there. What that does is it clears the program and the kit, so the pattern and the kit. Or you can hold down shift and press clear all. And what that does is it keeps the kit as it is. If you like the sounds you're already dealing with, and then you can just make a new pattern. So that's what we'll do here. We're in live mode, so we can press our sounds and audition them. Hit record. So as you can see, you can play in live, but you can also step record. So if I press step and then hold down part to select the part, say hi-hat step in my pattern like that. So you have the choice of recording live or stepping your recording as you want. So once you've got your pattern as you want, it's very easy to save. You can just press save, choose your location. So that can be one of the initialized programs if you want to do, if you don't want to go over the presets and then just press save again. And the same thing for your kits. You can save those independently of your programs. So if you need to do a factory reset of your unit, you can just hold down shift and record while the unit's off and then power it on. And then it'll take you to the factory reset screen where you can actually choose what you're resetting. 
whether it's everything, the global setting, just the kits, programs, samples, or the units. So you can choose exactly what you want and then just press yes and it will do your factory reset. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. There's a nice little Easter egg here and also in the drum log. If you power on and then press yes, it jumps you into this really cool little platform game. So yes and no, left and right, and these buttons here will let you jump. Enjoy.